The Canby Island Southern Shoreline Revetment Project will maintain the tidal flood risk protection to over 6,000 properties, businesses and infrastructure. It involves renewing the tidal defences revetment and improving access along the shoreline. The new revetment material is called Open Stone Asphalt and will be installed over a three kilometre length of Canby Island's southern shoreline. At Fisherman's Corner, there will now be a new and improved access ramp to reach the seaward side along with a replacement floodgate. The new revetment is laid at a shallower angle than the current revetment to help absorb wave energy and ensure it lasts to 2070, when we anticipate the tidal defences will need to be raised. Replacement foreshore steps will be laid at the same angle to ensure one continuous material. The Riverwood walkway will be widened where it is presently narrowed by steps and ramps to improve access for both the public and for future maintenance. At Concord Beach, the existing ramp and seating area outside of the cafe will be replaced with new structures. The works to lay the new revetment have to take place during the low tide window. This means that we will have to work earlier and later in the day at some points in each month. The public footpath that runs from Thorny Bay will be re-leveled and resurfaced to provide a consistent surface. At Chapman Sands, there will be a new maintenance ramp providing access from the floodgate down to the riverside, allowing access in both the easterly and westerly directions. The council has decided that the jetty is no longer needed and has asked for it to be removed as part of the works. We will also improve biodiversity with flowering grass seed mixes used to restore areas on the landward side of the defence and the installation of rock pool features where the new revetment meets existing rock armour near the island yacht club. Once completed, the tidal flood risk protection will be maintained for over 6,000 properties, businesses and infrastructure in Canby Island. For more information on the project, you can visit the Environment Agency website and the Canby Island Southern Shoreline Revetment Project page.